Um, I will talk a little bit about my own view of harmony. Let me ask you first. Uh, <coughs> what is harmony? Okay, can you tell me? ¿Qué es harmonía? Any ideas? Just raise your hand. ¿De qué harmonía? Es la estructura de la música. Structure of the music. Well, but you know, structure, form is also structure, right? And tempo, and and all this. I mean, I agree with you. It's it's one of the important structures, right? Okay. Anybody else? Es como la división vertical de los intervalos. Puedes colocar. Es como la forma. Why is this? Okay. So the vertical, right? Uh huh. Para mí es como el medio ambiente de la melodía. Like the beautiful. All the answers are beautiful, and th there is no right or wrong. You know, I'm just curious. Okay, so the carpet that Melody is walking on, right? <coughs> yeah. Um, probably majority of you heard me say this in a in other lecture. Or maybe not, but I will repeat it one more time. Okay. If you have one of them, you want to tell us that you want to be a man. In the case of the video, you want to be a man. So, what will happen? So, back many centuries ago, in the 10th century, in the 11th century, people were singing in monody, in one voice. Gregorian chant, for example. Yéndonos hacia varios siglos atrás, eh, el canto gregoriano que es un canto de una sola nota. So, and it was also very important that individual melody would be as beautiful as possible. But what is beautiful <coughs> to medieval people? Stepwise motion, you know. Very close. They never would do mm. ah, 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 ah. <laughs> never because it was about you know praising the Lord. So the stepwise was very very important. And even more than this, I read rules of the you know medieval contrapunt just from from one melody. They would say <coughs> if the note is long. Ah, then go in stepwise motion, go down. In ese tiempo, la melodía, el movimiento, era bien cercano. No era que había saltos de intervalos de quinta o de sexta o mayor. Siempre eran los más, el movimiento era bien cerca, los más cercanos posibles. So, melody has, to me, is almost like water, you know? You, you, you see water fall. If if you you would put a lot of water on the top of a mountain and then push it, it starts to fall down. So Tchaikovsky. Da 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 So melody follows natural laws of nature. You know, it's like it's like stars, it's it's just one melody. Para él la melodía es como que el agua so people were doing many things to make this melody as beautiful as possible and it was happening horizontally right in time it starts in 1 p.m. and it finishes in 1 10 in time it goes like this at some point, people starting started to sing at the same time. Two people, three people, four people, right? So you have 
different melodies that are happening at the same time. And then they said, okay, we want every melody to be as beautiful as possible, <coughs> but we also want the vertical to be as beautiful as possible. And it was a Christian idea. Cross. That's the cross in music. So I'm not religious, but it's just uh, it's just the way it was. So this idea that you know uh, Bach, I don't know. sing those things, you know? I love to sing every <coughs> voice in a few. But the result is the harmony that is constantly changing. Right? So, maybe. <laughs> 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 de la manera más eh, melodiosa y más armoniosa y que tenga su belleza y así es pues eh, se va formando la armonía y bueno, se dice que en el caso de por ejemplo la pieza de se va son cuatro son tres po, yeah. voces tres. que a él particularmente le gusta cantar a cada uno so, therefore, you know, uh, to me, harmony is about voice leading. Para él, la armonía es el movimiento líder de la voz. Para cada uno de nosotros siempre, el voice leading es el movimiento más fuerte de entre una nota y otra en la y eso para él. You know. Um, I do a I do a crazy comparison. You know, there are people who use computer and use programs, like me. Like I use Finale, I use Logic, I use <coughs> you know Sibelius, Microsoft Word, and stuff like this. But I don't understand what's going on in the computer. I have no idea. You know, and there are people, software developers, who create all this stuff. You know, the same with music. If I'm just taking, okay, I'm going to write music, so I'm going to do C major, let me take another chord, G major, D minor. If I'm taking radio chords, that's, to me, is just using pre-made music, you know, chords are pre-made. So instead, I like to experiment with my voices to create new harmony. So. Let's take the simplest song. I don't know. Um, so, I don't know. Yesterday. All my travels seem so far away. people usually play, right? They would just play. I would never play it like this, because I need voice leading. I need yesterday. <coughs> All my troubles seem so far away. Now it looks as though she's here. Tell me, tell me, tell me. 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 Tell me, tell me,
pasando los acordes, que la primera vez fuiste muy mecánico. With the time, you even develop ear for close, close things. You know, for me, if I hear, let's even take a standard. Let's take a... Uh, all the things you are, right? So... Very far, everything. So I need you are the sunshine of Helena that makes the lonely winter sing long. You see what I'm doing? I'm trying to connect as much as I can. I'm trying to connect as much as I can. Por favor. So, <coughs> out of all the classical harmony rules, I care about maybe three. Let's see. <laughs> For, for what I need, you know, for what I need. Um, I don't care about parallel feet. Parallel feet are cool, you know? And it's just a, sp a specific style of music, classical music, where it wasn't cool. In Mozart, in, you know, Bach and stuff like this. But before, if you check music of like 14th century, But I do care for jazz, try not to double. Be groove. Write it down. We're going to talk about it a little bit. Pero lo más importante en el jazz es eh, tratar de no doblar. Cuando se refiere a no doblar, es no doblar las notas. No tiene eh, dos mayores. La tercera y la, y la, y la quinta. No, no doblar la quinta en la más de So, look. You, you guys know Stella by Starlet, right? Yeah. This song that Robin sings, right? Now you can see the keyboard from here, right? But I'm doubling. I'm doubling all four notes. Every note is double. That's what I'm trying to not do. El en ese estándar que ella estaba marcando, él tocó la dos manos tocó los mismos notas, o sea, el doblar, ¿no? Y él dice que traten de no doblar la nota a la hora de de tocar. So instead, I would take a voicing like this. Let's say, nothing fancy, no normal voicing. E minor seven flat five. So what is this? This is the root, right? The one. What is this? E flat, flat five. Seven. Sharp nine, eleven. Okay, so nothing repeats, right? The song. That's my voice, really. 
That's my next chord. I'm not doubling. The song that Robin sings through years of endless spring. Da 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 da. And the evening sun playing on the words. So I'm almost not doubling. Sometimes, occasionally, it comes through, but I'm trying to always maintain the five voices, at least. <laughs> You see what's happening? If I would go from five voices to four, if I would start down, you see, it becomes poor because it's. Uh, I started to talk on one level and I decreased the level of complexity. So you might want to. <laughs> Como lo dijo al principio, es no durar y trata de, en este caso, que él hizo un acorde de, de cinco notas, él tra, trata siempre de moverse igual y no, no doblar, no ir a, a cuatro voces, porque muchas veces también tiende a, a, a doblar, ¿no? Y eso fue lo que ustedes escucharon en el grupo de gente. Cuando no se refiere a doblar, es no repetir la nota. Duplicar. La el término correcto o sea, es duplicar. Duplicar. Exactamente. Duplicar. No, duplicar. <laughs> for jazz. No, no, no. For jazz. For classical music, for pop, it's a little different. You know? But if you want to have this lush sound of jazz. All this comes from not duplicating too much. That's rule number one. You know, flat nine, flat thirteen, right? So, let's just, everyone can see? So it sounds like this. Okay? Am I doubling? I'm not doubling at all, right? So. My first voice leading groove. Don't double. But always. Look. That's also a very important thing. These are my rules. And there are always exceptions. There are always exceptions. Is the greater stone? No. No, no. Try not to double. <laughs> you know, I'm coming from country of Stalin and stuff like this, so... <laughs> but, but, you know, Stalin is luckily not alive anymore, so... Uh, try, try, try not to double. Second thing, it's probably the most important thing to me, although I'm not doing it here. Always look. for common tones. What do I mean by common tones? You, you might want to translate. Please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So here I don't have similar tones yet, but notice how my voices move very smoothly. My A moved up only half a step. That's the best. I always <coughs> say if there would be a smaller step on the piano, I would use it, but there is none. <laughs> tonos en común, pero algo interesante es que él siempre mantiene, él siempre lo mantiene ese movimiento de, de, una, de una nota con la otra, en este caso, lo más cercano, fíjense que es medio, medio tono, desde la al filo común. So, what happened to the second voice, guys? Da, da. Again, just a half step, that's killing, that's why it sounds good. What happened to D? Also half a step. 
So with these guys, it's a little more complicated. Bass needs to go where it needs to go. It's a bass player. You know, he's got his thing. <coughs> the song tells us to do this. We cannot do much. And okay, we can leave with one voice moving. Uh, you know, minor third, right? Minor third. Another very important rule for me. All voices should not go into the same direction. <laughs> Which means contrary motion. <laughs> so, what saves me? This guy went up, the rest went down. But at least somebody went up. That makes the whole story happening. Okay? Okay, now. But there is some there are more things to it. Things that make it really exciting. Because I'm thinking in chords and not in voices. I mean sorry, because I'm thinking in voices and not in chords. I don't have to move all the voices at the same time. So check this. Wait, I'll, I will move every voice one by one and just check all the colors that you will hear along the way. in between so that B flat that is going to G for me it's too too much it's so I might as well do so check this And at every point, I can choose, okay, I will move the first voice, then the second, then the bass, then this, then this. So I have so many possibilities. Something like this. 